really about well, the way I wanted it to be it was about that kind of like inner feeling I don't know I kind of feel like every I made Juicy as kind of like this character that's like everyone has a little bit of Juicy inside of them like they want to they want to be seen they want to be shown but like the world kind of holds you back and you don't know if like I was saying you're like you don't know if it's if it's good if you're good enough or if you're if, if it's right but you just kind of got to go for it just lay it all out there it's the courage of it all like you know actors <laughs> I didn't have a choice, though. He <laughs> wrote the film based on me, so I was the only person to do the role. Because I told him I wouldn't do it. I told him so many times, but it didn't click with him. It went one ear, not the other. I think it's kind of a compliment that some one of your friends writes a movie about you. Although, watching the movie, I keep telling him I feel that that's his perception of me, what I, what I saw in Heidegen, Heidegen I casted for... He's the only he's the only character I actually casted for, and I met him and he was he was great. It's just funny that everyone else already knew him, <laughs> so I made it like Eileen was like, "Oh, hi again! I totally know that guy." And then um, so he's the only one I actually casted for. Asha, um, who played Shadow Dynasty, I knew her because I used to PA with her <laughs> on The Voice, so that was like, and I, I figured out she acted. And when I was writing the script, I kind of had her in mind, and I asked her to do it. Everyone kind of like I already had in mind. And I asked him to do it. Like Eileen, when she was 69, totally had her in mind. <laughs> I was like, this is the role of your life. <laughs> she has a really amazing talent of taking, taking kind of like this caricature of somebody and grounding it. Um, like, I mean, 69 is kind of a joke. <laughs> like, she's, she's kind of a joke. And she kind of like does these things that are more like a joke. But she has a really, really understanding of who the person actually is. And like layering it just a little bit more. And making it seem, not seem so like one dimensional. So she... She's, she's really talented at that. He, he brought in some ballet dancers, and Jarrell didn't know that I can do ballet. So he, he was just like, okay, they're, they're just going to um, do a routine. You're not allowed to look at it. You're not allowed to learn it beforehand. And you're just going to learn it right then and there. And so we just want to film it like organically or something, just on the spot. But he, he didn't know that I could pick it up. So I was doing it just fine, and he wanted me to do it bad. So... <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, in the scene, he's supposed to, like, not be able to keep up with the rest of the girls. Yeah. And I'm sitting there watching the first take, and I'm like, wow, he's, he's keeping up. <laughs> and so I felt really good in myself that I proved him wrong, but not that same day is when he Heideken, right? Yeah. I, think, right? I don't want to say it wrong. Heideken is telling me that I'm ugly and I'm fat, and it's just like, you know, I'm not used to acting, so, so you kind of take it personal, but so it keeps... You know, it's bashing on you for a good four hours. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your self-esteem gets pretty low after that, and you have to pretend like you're happy. And I'm wearing this rhinestone top with some pink tights, so it's like yeah, yeah. It's a whole rush and he of emotions. Felt horrible, and he kept saying, "I'm so sorry." Yeah, yeah. after I did. after cut. Nice guy. He's probably yeah. like, we're trying at the suggestion of like a lot of things. We're trying to do. We're developing the feature length version, where GC leaves the Midwest to go to LA to be on the X Factor. At least that's what the concept is now. So that, and then he along along the way of the drive, he meets like different misfit people to form a group. I love that people are like really loving the movie. Yeah. I'm loving that people are laughing. So it makes me feel, it makes me feel good that people are like smelling from ear to ear. That like they can resonate with him at least. Yeah. Like everyone kind of relate to what he's going through and what what you see is. This movie, I, I think it for me it just it hits home because I grew up overweight my whole life, like. Now, I've lost, you know, like 30 pounds since the movie, but I'm, I was really heavy. And so for me, like, it's a good representation of, of breaking the stereotypes because now I am a, I'm a fitness instructor at a gym and you never thought like this bat boy, you know, works at a gym. It's, it's such a stereotype. And I always, you know, I, I do this every day where I motivate my, my, my students to be like, you know, you are, you're only, you're the only one that sets bound, sets the limits to yourself. You're the only person that says yeah. you can't do something.